So the question becomes, how do you train the crew to do the myriad possible tasks that you may need them to do when you go somewhere far away? So I would think that the first thing you need to think about is how are you designing your spacecraft? If you look at station, for example, and we go back to the carbon dioxide removal system and those special connectors, that was a very unique piece of equipment with very unique features. So it wasn't really designed to be sort of uh, attacked from a global level. I had to have an expert in mission control watching me over my shoulder to make sure that I did all this little finesse stuff exactly right. And there was a number of other systems on the station that were designed like that. So the very first thing that you should think about when you're thinking about designing a spacecraft and the crew interacting with is don't optimize at the subsystem level, optimize at the system level. You should have a similar kinds of fasteners around or similar kinds of filters or similar kinds of fans, which means that a system that you design a fan for, it may be over-designed because it's, it's actually designed to fit another subsystem, so it's over-designed another application. But if it's the same fan that you can use, or if you have the same philosophy behind a lot of your subsystem design as you integrate it up into the system level, that's less unique things the crew needs to be trained on because it's all common. You know, I don't need to understand the difference between a torque tip fastener or a, a regular screwdriver if we only use one of them. Which, by the way, can be very confusing on orbit because, you know, one has a slight curve and one's just straight. And it's, we've had people who have tried to use screwdrivers and torque tip applications and vice versa myself included. It's like, oh, I get it. You know, so so you, you, first of all, you design it so that it's easy to maintain and it's easy to attack and it, the systems are clearly understood. And then you can very, if you design something with a lot of commonality like that, understanding that some systems are not going to be designed as efficiently as others because you're maximizing the whole, the whole craft, then it'll be obvious where the unique areas are that you need to train the crew because that particular design just wouldn't allow you to use a special fan. And then you train the crew on how to read blueprints. You know, okay, so here's an electrical circuit for the thermal system. Here's places where it could fail. These are places you need to be aware of. Or here's how the, the, um, the cooling lines run. Here's the valves. These valves leak like this. So when you're checking a valve, you need to be aware that the O-rings work like this. So you, you train them on things like that. And then you put them in an environment where they can build confidence in using those skills. You know, because all of us, when we're approaching uh, a piece of equipment, whether it's a new toy for our kids or, you know, the, a bicycle, you always worry about breaking it further when you dive in and try and, and fix it. And the only way you can get over that fear of I'm going to touch it and break it further is to get experience doing that kind of thing. Because then you know, okay, I'm going to take this engine apart and I realize that there's a, little, a few little screws in here I can't lose and there's some O-rings in here that are really important. But it's pretty rugged and I know that I can beat on, I can, you know, if this is stuck, I can put a hammer on here and it's okay. So, you, so then you need to build that, that confidence set across the whole range of electrical, mechanical, thermal, and stuff like that. So that's how you would train a crew. First, design the system to be as simple as possible from a global perspective. Find the unique areas, teach the crew the fundamentals about blueprints and wiring circuits, and then give them the confidence by having them do things like that. That would be how I would approach it.